Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. That's right. New album review day today. We've got a handful of them for you as we finish up some 2021 stuff here in the first couple of weeks of the new year in 2022. This one is no exception. This is a reissue of an album originally released in 1975, now reissued on the Esoteric Recordings label, a division of Cherry Red Records. Uh, I'm talking about the soundtrack to Peter and the Wolf by Jack Lancaster and Robin Lumley and lots more people. Uh, so this originally kind of, uh, the, the creation of this, again, we're looking at mid-70s, of course, Jack Lancaster, a composer, musician, um, used to be in Bloodwind Pig as well as Aviator, and then Robin Lumley, of course, was from a uh, keyboard player from Brand X, right, and various other projects. And uh, they were, originally, the concept was they were going to do a, uh, an animated film, and this was to be the soundtrack of it, but the, the animated film kind of fell by the wayside, and they decided instead just to do the, uh, the album, right? So, of course, this is their uh, rock interpretation of the classic Sergei Prokoviev uh, work Peter and the Wolf right it's been done many 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 times I'm sure most of most of you and myself growing up we heard some version of Peter and the Wolf Walt Disney did it as well um, and uh, a lot of a lot of cool cats on this right but it's pretty short it's only like 30 something minutes long I think it's like 38 39 minutes long it's broken into 21 tracks and uh, I'll kind of tell you who's all on this. It's like a who's who of like a British rock. And basically this goes and it's got some narration, of course. And it goes and tells the story of Peter and the Wolf. So you got narration and some musical bursts and things. Not a lot of whole complete songs, but you get to, do get a few of them later on in the CD. Uh, for my money, it's, uh, well, I'll get to that. Let me let's first tell you who's on here. So we've got uh, Mr. Gary Moore on guitar. Uh, Robin Lumley, of course, and Jack Lancaster both appear on here. Julie Tippetts, uh, Manfred Mann, all right, on keyboards. Uh, Pete Haywood, Percy Jones, Cozy Powell, all right. Gary Brooker, John Goodsall, right. Procol Harum, more Brand X here. Uh, where, what do I leave off here? Well, Phil Collins on drums, Andy Pyle on bass, Keith Tippett on piano, uh, Erica Machilenko on chimes. I'm trying to see who else is here that I haven't mentioned. Stefan Grappelli on violin. Who else we got here? I don't want to miss anybody notable as I'm going through the track list here. I think that's most of the Chris Spedding on guitar. Eno, Brian Eno on synthesizer. I think I mentioned Cozy Pal. John Heisman, Bill Bruford. So I didn't get everybody. Henny Lothar, Henry Lothar, Berno Frost. I think that's basically everybody. Alvin Lee on guitar. So, and of course they spell Gary Moore, G-A-R-R-Y. Gary only has one R. Um, so, like I was saying, uh, and here's, let's just give you a very cool little presentation here. You know, the album album art all that good stuff and then you've got the uh the booklet which gives you uh, you know the esoteric booklets are always really well done you got uh malcolm dome provided the anecdotes here you got more artwork very cool stuff and again on the back you got all the different tracks and who plays on what which is pretty cool um for me you know, it's only 30 some odd minutes long, so it's pretty brief. For me, what I enjoyed the most about this, obviously, is the music. And considering that cast of characters that I just explained to you, there's some pretty serious musicians on here. Um, and I wanted to hear more. Uh, I think, like I said, there's 21 tracks. Most of them are fairly short. A good chunk of them have, like I said, the narration telling of the story. And then you get these little brief bursts of instrumentation and parts of songs. And it's kind of fusion-y, kind of prog -y, kind of straight rock, very orchestral and classical at times. And I wanted to hear more. Every time you start to hear some cool Gary Moore or Alvin Lee guitar stuff going on or some really cool Manfred Mann or Robin Lumley uh, Moog solos or whatever or passages, it's over before you know it. 
and I was kind of like I kept waiting for like full pieces, right? And you don't really get them till kind of like the end. Uh, Rock and Roll Celebration is a cool kind of like hard rock fusiony piece with vocals. It's a, it's a really good song, right? I would I would like to hear more of that. Uh, also, uh, the final theme, the last last piece on here, is another like full fledged song, very orchestral, big band rock band type of thing. I really like it. Uh, otherwise, you know, you get other places where um, I'm trying to remember which track it was. I believe it's uh, Cat and Duck, which has got uh, Henry Lothar's violin dueling it out with Gary Moore and Al and John Goodsall on. Um, on guitars, you got some cool clarinet from Robin Lumley, and you got you know Percy Jones and Phil Collins underneath, and it's all too brief. And I'm like, oh, I want to hear more. I want to hear more. So I, that's kind of like my deal throughout the whole album. You get cool little things here and there. Peter's Tree is pretty cool. You got good solo on Gary Moore again. Uh, there's a Alvin Lee drops in a great solo on the final theme. I, you know, with all these all stars here, I I just would have loved. For me, it's like. Take out all the narration, just give me the music, and then add more and flesh it all out. I just, I, I would have liked to hear like an hour of this, but with all the musical bits extended a bit. But what's here is pretty cool and it's pretty fun. Uh, you know, but uh, for me, the, the narration kind of interrupts everything, which is just kind of weird. And I've heard things like this before, and I always kind of have the same opinion. But it's cool to hear because this is such a cast of stellar musicians that, you know, how can you not get some enjoyment out of it? But for me, the back end is the coolest thing because you got those cool, those couple of fully fledged out tracks, which is what I wish we heard throughout the whole album. So, uh, so check it out. I mean, it's really worth a listen. And the CD sounds great. Like I said, it's a nice presentation. Esoteric always does a damn good job. Uh, so it, it's definitely worth it. So Jack Lancaster and Robin Lumley's Peter and the Wolf, along with all sorts of great guest stars. And uh, you've also got uh, the, the English uh, chorale on here. Uh, narrator Vic Stansaw, Stanshaw. Yeah, I mean, just man for man. Gary Brooker. Chris Spedding. Gary Moore, Stefan Graffelli, Eno, Keith Tippett, Jack Lancaster, John Heisman, Bill Bruford, Cozy Powell, Phil Collins, Alvin Lee, Robin Lumley, Julie Tippett, and the English Chorale. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite the cast. Quite the cast. And then some, they're not all listed on there. So check it out if you haven't. It's, it's definitely worth uh, listening to. And for some folks, it's going to be a must-have just basically, on you know, based on who's all on this. So thanks for watching. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell. And uh, we've also got the link to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page for all sorts of cool Sea Tranquility stuff. So uh, that's all down below in the video description. And we'll see you again. Later on, here on Sea Tranquility, more stuff. I am Pete Pardo. Take care. Bye-bye.